I'm about to do your Pisces love reading for September 2022, and in this Pisces tarot reading, we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. Pisces, what is going on with you? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Pisces love reading. Now, if this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you always get notified anytime I post a new Pisces tarot reading for you. Now, let's get on with this Pisces love reading for today because today we are going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. And I'm going to do that by getting one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the two of you here in September 2022. Then I'm going to get three cards for you, Pisces, three cards for your person. And then I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck, just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now, I do want to apologize to you because I know it has been a long time since I've posted a Pisces love reading for you. I've been incredibly sick here the past couple of months. I got COVID, then my son got COVID, then I ended up getting COVID again after that. So I've just been just completely hit for the past couple of months. So this is the first several days that I haven't felt like absolute death. So I'm just now getting back to everything. So I apologize for the delay, but hopefully, barring me getting sick again, there won't be any more delays. So let's get on with this Pisces love reading and let's start by getting one card for what is the mutual point of interest between Pisces and their romantic person of interest here in September 2022. Okay, we're taking two cards, apparently. Let's get three cards for you, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between them here in September 2022, please? Let's get three cards for what's going on with Pisces. <clears throat> Still am feeling a little bit congested, so I apologize if my voice is a little coarse or raspy here. What's going on with Pisces romantic person of interest as it relates to Pisces and the connection between them in September 2022, please? Let's get one more. For okay, we're taking an extra one for your person, it would appear. Wrong word. Okay, thank you. Well, not looking too terrible. On the bottom of the deck, oh sheesh, the overall energy of this reading, Five of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy. Fives are about conflict. The Five of Pentacles is a card of abandonment. It's about being abandoned. It's about being cast aside. It's about being left out in the cold, kind of tossed away. This is a breakup card. Definitely a breakup card. I've got death right behind that. This is Scorpio's major arcana card. This is a, an ending to something usually. This is a painful transformation period taking place. Like something dying so that it can be reborn again, hopefully in a new and better way. So if you think about when a caterpillar goes into a cocoon, it's not really having a party in the cocoon. It's actually dying and transforming into something entirely different. And when it comes out of that cocoon, it ain't a caterpillar anymore, but it is a beautiful butterfly instead. So a lot of times this will indicate either a complete death and ending to something, or it will be that painful transformation process where you come into something and it sucks while you're going through it. But when you finally come out the other side, you're better than you were before you started. Uh, I'm not 100% certain that's what we're feeling here because I have the Three of Swords right behind that. This is Libra energy of heartbreak and sadness, usually from a third energy. Now, that third energy does not always have to be romantic third party, although it definitely can be. That third energy can be literally anything that you put enough of yourself into. Anything that we do enough of is going to create its own energy. So your, your job, your career can create that third energy. Going to school, nosy friends, nosy family members, nosy neighbors, co-workers, anybody sticking their nose where it doesn't belong can be that third energy. This can literally be just about anything. So if you're asking the question, well, could it be fill in the blank? If you're asking that question, it could totally be that. So we got some sort of an ending here, a breakup, painful transformation process, heartbreak and sadness. 
that's the overall gist of what it looks like this reading is going to talk to me about. This mutual point of interest is shared energy that's affecting you both, Pisces and your person. It doesn't always affect you both exactly the same way, but this mutual point of interest for September 2022 is the Five of Wands and the Magician. Five of Wands. Again, fives are conflict, just like this five on the bottom of the deck is conflict here. The wands are about desire or passion. So this is a conflict in your desires, like an internal conflict where a piece of you wants one thing, but then another piece of you wants pretty much the opposite of that. And you're playing this internal battle of tug of war inside what it is you actually want. Now, this could be for you, Pisces, and it's just affecting your person. This could be your person is internally conflicted about something and it's affecting both of you. This could even be a situation where you want one thing, your person wants pretty much the opposite of that, and you guys are playing tug of war amongst yourselves. But we also have the magician in the shared energy affecting you both. This is the Mac Daddy Master Manifester of the Tarot Deck. It's someone who has all the tools, abilities, resources, everything they need to manifest or create from nothing whatever it is their will desires. It's about using the will to shape the world around you to be in alignment with what your will desires. <sighs> A lot of times this is someone's thoughts or someone's actions creating the situation that they're in could be that we've got an internal conflict about what you want and if you're trying to manifest from that state of being internally conflicted you're going to get all kinds of stuff some stuff that you want some stuff that you don't want it's going to be all over the place so let me clarify this and find out what's going on why is this the mutual point of interest between pisces and their romantic person of interest here in september 2022 please one flip over here get one more. Why is this Five of Wands Magician the mutual point of interest? On the bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. This is Pisces energy. This is a card of wish fulfillment, but this is also a singles energy. It's about being like emotionally single. Sometimes this can represent a person who's, you know, kind of smug a little bit, kind of much more concerned about what it is they personally want than what's best for everyone involved here. This could be, I'm not seeing wish fulfillment in this at all. Sometimes this can represent someone who is emotionally single, like in the sense that they're acting like they're single when they're not. But I do have this five of pentacles here as the overall energy signifying a breakup. So it looks like you are in a state of being single. Both of you are probably internally conflicted about what it is you want to do about that, what kind of actions you want to take. Right behind that, we have the moon, which is some more Pisces energy. <sighs> this is fear, worry, anxiety, feeling like something's being hidden in the dark from you. Sometimes this can represent something that you can't see. And because you can't see everything in front of you right now, you're feeling some worry and some anxiety and maybe some fear about uncertainty, fear about the unknown. Sometimes this can even represent a secret being kept. I think this is some fear about the unknown. You're single. You may not want to be single. At least a piece of you probably doesn't want to be single. You got some fear and worry about what's going on, what's actually going on, what can I not see. And then we have judgment right beneath that. Judgment is a card of a final decision being made, like passing your own final verdict and judgment on a situation. In a love reading, most of the time, this will be a, a decision about the relationship. Are we going to call this dead and over with, or are we going to resurrect this and try and bring it back from the dead, try and bring it back from this death that happened, bring it back to life, and then transform it in a way so that it's never the same as that ever again. I think right beneath that we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is an opportunity, a practical, tangible, physical, real-world opportunity probably to do that. I think there's probably an internal conflict on both of your parts about whether or not that can be done or whether or not you want to do that. To clarify this Five of Wands and Magician, we got the Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Pages are messengers, and cups are about love and emotions. So this is news and messages and communications about love and emotions, expressing of feelings, lovey-dovey messages going back and forth. 
This can even represent someone who is like emotionally immature. The page is the least mature of all the court cards. It goes page, knight, queen, king. This ain't a king. This ain't even a knight. This is the lowly page. So this can represent someone who is emotionally immature. Could be that there is an internal conflict here about whether or not to express feelings between the two of you after some sort of a breakup and having a hard time seeing what the decision should be here related to this opportunity about can we fix this or not. In the center of all this, we have the Chariot, which is Cancer's Major Arcana card. This is a card also about the will, a lot like the Magician is. We have both cards here about having will, so there's some strong will for one of you or for both of you. But this is a card about using the will to overcome obstacles and challenges and roadblocks that are in the way. Using the will alone to get past all that stuff so that things can move forward very quickly in success and victory. This is the fastest moving energy in the tarot deck. So this is about moving forward very quickly past obstacles and into success. The thing about the chariot is there are no reins connecting the driver to these two beasts that pull the chariot. He uses his will alone to power this thing and to steer it. So if the driver is not in alignment, you can see we got a dark side and a light side here. If the driver is not in alignment, this thing is either not going to move at all or worse yet, it's going to try and pull itself in two separate directions, which we kind of see here with this Five of Wands, this internal conflict here, where a piece wants to go one way, another piece wants to go the other. Now, whether that represents a piece of you internally, or a piece of your person internally, or the fact that you're both trying to pull in opposite directions here. But we do have the Two of Cups next, which is more Cancer energy. This is... It's a love connection between two people. It's I breathe you in, you breathe me in, we're connected. But it is a two, and in tarot, twos represent needing to make some kind of a choice here. Either a choice in this connection, a choice about the connection, sometimes even a choice between more than one person. Huh, I'm not 100% sure about this yet, and at this stage in the reading, it's not uncommon for me to not be fully clear on exactly what this is trying to tell me. I'll have a much better idea after I get through your energy. I'll come back to it once I go through your energy. That way I can see how this relates to you. Then I'll come back to it again as I go through your person's energy so I can see how it relates to them. But that is the mutual point of interest between the two of you here in September 2022. Pisces, your energy in this connection is the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Wands. I got quite a bit of fire energy out here, really. I got quite a bit of cancer so far. This Hierophant card is the Taurus Major Archon card. This is a card of commitment. It's about taking things to the next level from wherever they are now. It's about being in a committed relationship. This is sometimes a marriage card. So tell me more about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Pisces in September 2022? Why is the Hierophant? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. This signifies a very abrupt shift, an abrupt change, like a foundation rocking event as it relates to some commitment that you had. Clearly that's the case. We've got the five of pentacles as the overall energy with death and the Three of Swords right behind that. So there was definitely a breakup, an ending to something related to a commitment for you. This is when everything came crashing down. Ah, usually not such a good thing here. Yeah, it's created a very difficult situation for you. We have Strength next. This is a Leo Major Arcana card. This card always tells me that you're going through something very difficult right now and it's requiring you to dig down deep and tap into all your internal strength in order to even make it through this. Now, at times, this can also be about trying to tame that beast inside yourself, trying to rein yourself in, trying to hold yourself back, trying to not let yourself rush off too quickly on something and make some kind of mistake that you might regret later which is probably where we're seeing some of this Five of Wands energy affect you here. We had the commitment come apart. There's probably a piece of you that wants to manifest this commitment back, wants to express your feelings, wants to get past the obstacles and move forward 
toward this love connection because it's still a connection as far as you're concerned looks like you were in a pretty committed relationship with someone and there's possibility that there was a third party getting involved right below that i've got the two of pentacles which is it's a one foot in one foot out kind of an energy it's like going back and forth on something like do i or don't i should i or shouldn't i can we fix this can we not fix this sometimes this can even represent juggling more than one person so I don't have anything definitive yet, but it looks like we may have had something like that go on that led to a tower moment, that led to a breakup, that put you in this difficult situation. And to clarify the Hierophant, we got the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles is either Virgo or Taurus energy. I've got a couple of Taurus cards, three Taurus cards out here so far. You could be dealing with the Taurus, you could be dealing with the Leo, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, uh, with the Cancer, you could be dealing with literally any sign. It's going to be almost impossible for me to nail that down specifically for you because I'm not reading your specific energy as an individual person. I'm reading the collective energy for a large group of Pisces people right now. So I'm just going to call out all the signs as they kind of stick out to me just in case they mean anything to you. But this King of Pentacles is one half of the two people that build the Ten of Pentacles together. That Ten of Pentacles would be the combining together of two people or two families and all their assets and resources into one, building that stable, happy, abundant, prosperous home life that we all want. This is the person who builds that around the Queen of Pentacles. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right below this Two of Pentacles that I just showed you is the Queen of Pentacles. So we've got some distance between the Queen and the King here. There was a commitment, there was a breakup, there was a tower moment, and there's still some distance between the two of you. It looks like there is the possibility to overcome this and that there are still feelings present Something's definitely bad wrong here. Next, to clarify the Hierophant, we have the Eight of Swords. This is Gemini energy. This is about being stuck inside your head about something. It's about thinking about something over and over and over on this repeating loop in your mind and not really being able to quiet your mind about it. It's also about feeling stuck and trapped and blocked because as you can see, this person's blindfold and they're bound and they can't see what the safe step to take is. So they're feeling stuck and trapped and blocked because they can't see what the safe step to take is and because they can't see because the tower has come crashing down got some internal conflict going on they, they're not really sure what the hell to do here which leads us to this two of wands which is aries energy this is a fork in the road it's a crossroads in your life a crossroads in this relationship this is a decision point for you and it's a decision about which path leads you to the world that you really want and which path do you need to leave behind in order to get there? I see this internal conflict. I see you having the ability to create whatever it is that you want to create. You're just at that decision point about what is it that I want and how do I get there? And I can't quite see my way there right now. It looks like that is a big burden for you because your central energy for September 2022 Pisces is the Ten of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This represents a heavy burden that you're carrying. Now, it is also a 10, and in tarot, 10s are completion. So this is supposed to be the completion of a heavy burden. In other words, you getting to the spot where you can lay this heavy burden down and move forward without it, which again, we're kind of seeing here with this chariot right in the center of the shared energy affecting you both, getting past the obstacles, the challenges, the things that are weighing you down so that you can move forward. Tell me about this Ten of Wands for Pisces. Why is that the central energy for Pisces in September 2022, please? Explosion. Okay. Yeah. On the bottom of the deck, there's the Nine of Cups again. Pisces energy. Again, this is wish fulfillment. But I'm not feeling wish fulfillment from it. I'm feeling singles energy. I'm feeling emotionally single. And I feel like that is a burden to you because you were in a commitment, or at least you thought it was a committed connection. Things did not go the way that you anticipated. 
Yeah. Got the moon right behind it again. So two more Pisces energies in a row again. Fear, worry, and anxiety about the unknown. Fear, worry, and anxiety about something being hidden from you. Possible secrets being kept. Judgment. Again, there's that decision. Are we going to call this dead and over with? Or are we going to bring it back to life and transform it so that it's never the same again? I feel like you're burdened by that whole dynamic there. And to clarify this Ten of Wands, we got the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. This Four of Swords is Libra energy. This is about taking a pause, taking a rest, taking a break. It's about choosing to go internal to do some healing or to do some thinking about something, trying to figure out what in the world to do moving forward from here. I think that's part of the burden that you've got here. There's definitely a separation between the two of you. It looks like a, an interruption to your stability here. Next, we have the Six of Cups, which is a Scorpio card. This is the card of the past. It's thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, thinking about the good old days and the way things used to be. This can signify someone from the past making a comeback. I know we're in Mercury retrograde right now. It's very common during retrograde that someone does try to make a comeback. Something from the past shows up again. It's kind of weird because I've, I think I've done... This is the fifth reading I've done since I've been back from being sick and I've had the Six of Cups in every single one of those readings. So there's definitely you doing some thinking about the past, trying to heal something from the past, carrying a burden from the past, possibly related to your person. This is a deep emotional connection, sometimes like soulmate level energy, but you can't really see what to do as it relates to the past here or as it relates to this person. Clearly there was a breakup, so I'm assuming this is the person from the past. Next we have the Three of Wands, which is Aries energy. We're moving up from the Two of Wands to the next step, the Three of Wands. Now, here you're at that decision point, that fork in the road. Like, what do I really want and how do I get there? In the Three of Wands, you've already made that decision. You've already chosen the path that you believe leads you to the world you want. And you've already started taking active steps and actions to go down that path, fully expecting that what you want is going to show up. It just hasn't manifested itself in the physical 3D reality yet. It hasn't shown up in reality yet. So you're still in that energy of waiting on that to happen. Looks like still trying to figure out what to do and still burdened possibly because you're still waiting on the person from the past. Next we have the Knight of Wands. This Knights are action takers and wands are about passion and desire. So this can be rapid rapid passionate action towards something that you've got a lot of passion and desire for this could represent your person being a player the knight of wands is often referred to as the player of the tarot deck it's someone who comes rushing in all passionately and gets what they want and then they can't stay in one place for too terribly long so they rush out all passionately excuse me and go somewhere else to get what they want and then they kind of try and run back and forth and play both sides of the fence. It's someone who's got shifting loyalties a lot of times. Now this could just be telling me that you're stuck waiting right now and part of the burden is that you're healing something, you're single and you don't really want to be. I'm not sure if this moon card is telling me there's a secret going on and your person was being a player or if this is telling me that you really want to go rushing forward very quickly. This is the second fastest night in the deck. And you're kind of stuck in this spot of having to wait on it. It's one of those two things, I would assume. The final card in your energy for September 2022, Pisces, is the Six of Wands. This is Leo energy. This is a card of recognition. As in either you being recognized for something, or much more likely you recognizing something. And whatever it is that you're recognizing is allowing you to move forward and success and victory. So I've got a couple of cards here about you moving forward in success and victory. Waiting on something here and then finally having some sort of a recognition it looks like. Tell me about this Six of Wands. Why is that here in Pisces Energy? Well that one clearly wanted to come out. It shot all the way over to the wall. Okay we got a lot of extra cards here. Let me grab this oh. On the bottom of 
up the deck. Nine of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This is a card of being walled off and defensive about something. Now, it's also a card of healing. This is the wounded warrior, and he's been hurt. Hence the wall he's built around himself. He's built this wall as a way to protect himself so he doesn't continue to get hurt, so he doesn't get hurt again. He's tired of being hurt. What he's trying to do is protect himself so he can heal, so he can get his energy right, so he can take the next step on his journey and get to this 10 where the burden that he's been carrying is completed and he can lay it down and move forward without it. So again, there's more things alluding to you being able to move forward here, but also letting me know that you're hurt probably protecting yourself, probably being a little bit defensive. And here's where this internal conflict of this five of wands from the mutual energy comes back in again, because there's the four of cups. This is cancer energy. This is a card of being emotionally discontent. In other words, not being fully happy with what you've got right in front of you here. So much so that you're daydreaming about this other cup, this other thing that you believe will lead you to your emotional happiness and your fulfillment. Sometimes this can represent that there is a love offer on the table already between the two of you and you just haven't accepted it or rejected it yet. It's just kind of been left hanging here and here. Excuse me, let me get a drink. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, but my throat's still a little bit off. My ears are still a little bit like stuffy and muffled sounding. But this can signify a love offer is already on the table. It can signify that you are contemplating making a love offer to your person offering your cup of love to them and you just haven't yet either because you're still internally conflicted or because you're still defensive or it could be that they've offered their cup of love to you and you're just like ah, i don't know about all that i don't know about all that because of this five of swords aquarius energy again fives are conflict we've seen too many fives here too many fives this is a mentally and psychologically painful situation or event. Sometimes this can be a conflict in your thinking, just like this is a conflict in what you want. This can be a conflict in communications, like a big fight, bitter words being spoken, words being used like weapons, tongues being used like swords to cut each other. This could just represent someone who has a, like a winning at all cost type of a mentality. Like, dude, I'm going to get what I want. And if you get hurt in the process, well, sorry about your luck. I'm taking care of me and what I want. This, at its core, is a mentally and psychologically painful situation or event, which is why you've got your walls up here. It's probably why you're internally conflicted. Because a piece of you still does have a lot of love and emotions for this person. I mean, you were in a commitment with them, and that came apart, so... To clarify this Six of Wands, what this is that you're recognizing, the very first clarifier is the Tower. The Nine of Pentacles, that's the one that shot all the way across the room and hit the wall. The Hanged Man, there's that Five of Wands again, and the Queen of Swords. It's kind of weird, I got three clarifiers, which is my normal amount that I get. I got three clarifiers for your first card, I got four for your second card, and I got five for the third card. So whatever is going on with you energetically, it feels like it's escalating. It's getting like bigger and bigger and bigger here. This tower, we've already seen that. This is the collapse of the connection. This is that moment where your belief system about this commitment, about this connection just kind of came apart here. I think that's what you're recognizing. You're recognizing that the tower has come down. This is like you believed it was one way and then something happened to prove to you that holy crap, it wasn't exactly the way I thought it was or believed it to be. And now nothing's the same anymore. I think that's what you're trying to heal. I've got the healing card on the bottom and I've got another card right next to that tower of you going inside yourself trying to heal and trying to figure out how to move forward from here. Next, I have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a singles energy. This is with you or without you or even in spite of you. I'm single and abundant and prosperous in my own right. I don't need you to take care of me physically. I don't need you to take care of me financially. I got that all under control. I can do me just fine. Now, this does not necessarily mean that you absolutely want to be single. It just means that you are single in this current moment. This can also signify... 
kind of like that nine of cups, that someone here was acting as if they were single in the physical world when they weren't single in the physical world. Sitting right next to this card of the past, reminiscing about the past. Uh, I think that was probably your person acting that way. And I think you're still stuck in your head about being single here. Next clarifier we have is the Hanged Man. This is a Pisces Major Arcana card. This represents progress being halted, things being stuck, things not moving forward. It's stuck right here, right where it's at. And right next to that, I've got this energy of you waiting and you being at this fork in the road trying to make a decision. And the very next card for you is that Five of Wands, which is that internal conflict about what it is that you want. A piece of you probably wants this connection back and another piece of you is recognizing, and dude, this is over. I'm single. They put me in this position. And I still have feelings. I still probably want to express those feelings. And I still have a belief that we could get past this and get the connection back. I'm just not seeing any progress happen on that. And I'm getting a little bit tired of waiting. And look, this is about playing that internal game of tug of war with yourself because a piece of you wants it back and another piece of you is like nah nah uh uh and right next to that is this knight of wands this back and forth wishy-washy can't make up my mind can't be fully committed to something kind of an energy here final clarifier we have for you pisces is the queen of swords this is the i don't take any bullshit queen this is a libra energy this is the off with your head queen. The way you see how she holds her hand out, she's offering to let someone speak their truth on something. The problem is she already knows the truth. So the truth you speak to the queen of swords, it damn well better match the truth she already knows or she is going to use that sword to cut your head off. So this is about speaking the truth on something. It's also about cutting off the things and the people that aren't in your best interest anymore that no longer serve you. I think you're a little bit conflicted about what to do regarding that. I think it probably depends on what day of the week it is I ask you about that or what time of day it is I ask you about that because I got the feeling that sometimes you're ready to help fix this and put it back together and try and get past all this. And at other times your walls are up and you're like, yeah, I, I don't know about all that. Let me scoot this over and get a little bit more room. That is your energy in this connection for February 2022, Pisces. Let's take a look at your person's energy in this connection because in their energy, we got the hanged man. We got the queen of wands. And then they got two cards that came out together for their last card, the moon and the ace of wands. I think I see what's going on already here. This hanged man is Pisces energy. We already saw that here in the clarifiers for your energy. Progress being halted, no forward movement, things being stuck and stagnant. Sometimes this can also be an energy. Like this is about looking at the things and the people external to them, trying to figure out why is this stuck and how do I get this unstuck? It's, it's always someone or something else's fault when the hanged man kind of an energy. It's about looking outside yourself and playing the blame game, playing the, the role of the victim here. Although I do not feel for a second that your person is in any way, shape, or form the victim. I feel like they had an internal conflict going on and I feel like their thoughts and their actions manifested the entire situation that you guys are finding yourselves in. It's what caused the breakup. It's what caused the death of the connection. I think they probably had a third party. I think they were juggling more than one person. Regardless, like I said, there is definitely some serious separation between the two of you in this commitment. I've got the very first clarifier in the reading being the King of Cups and the Queen, or Queen, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is buried, what, four cards deep in the overall energy. And right below that is the Queen of Cups, which would probably represent you in this case. I got two, two separate energies here, two separate feminine energies of the Queens. <sighs> that could be why I'm seeing this Two of Cups here for your person. And then, holy crap, getting ahead of myself, but their central energy is yet a third queen. Wow. So 
So we got progress being halted, things not moving here. Tell me more about this hanged man for Pisces romantic person of interest. September 2022, please. Okay, that's making a little bit more sense already. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Bottom of the deck. There's the moon. Pisces energy. I'm clarifying a Pisces major arcana card and on the bottom of the deck I get another Pisces major arcana card and one of their last cards that came out is the moon yet again. Fear, worry, and anxiety, but this is something being hidden in the dark. This is a secret being kept, something that you weren't aware of that was going on behind your back. That's why progress is halted here. I think your person was acting like they were single when they weren't single. I think as far as they were concerned, they considered themselves single emotionally, even though they were in a commitment with you. I think they probably had an opportunity present itself to them, and they just went for it, I think. To clarify the hanged man, we got judgment, the fool, three of cups. I just got goosebumps really bad. Judgment, again, passing a final verdict and judgment on the situation. This is a final decision being made. <sighs> Usually it's about, are we gonna let this stay dead and move on, or are we gonna bring it back to life? Either there is no progress being made on that decision, that could be why I'm seeing you waiting here on someone from the past, who is probably a player, and right beside this waiting, I've got that decision, that choice, that fork in the road decision point. You waiting on that, probably because it isn't fully your decision, it's probably their decision, or they probably made a decision that was hidden in the dark from you, a decision to be a fool here. It's about taking the blind leap of faith on something. It's about going, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to go for it. I don't need to know how this is going to work out before I take the first step. I'm just going to jump off the cliff and figure it out as I move along. A lot of times this can represent risky behavior, risk-taking outside of the connection type of behavior here. And I've got the Three of Cups next, which is Cancer Energy. A lot of times this is a card of reconciliation. It's about being reunited and celebrating. But in this case, it feels much more like it's about a third party love scenario. We do have three cups of love in the picture here. Got something being hidden in the dark, your person acting single, some final decision that they made to just say screw it and do something probably with a third cup. And next central to their energy, we have the Queen of Wands, which is either Aries or Leo energy. This is a bold, passionate, fiery, determined person that knows exactly what they want. They go after what they want. They don't really take no for an answer. The wand suit is about passion. It's about desire. So this is someone that's very passionate, very desirous, usually very charming, very good looking, sexy, or at least how your person would view that. Oh, no, 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 no. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Why is that here for Pisces, romantic person of interest in September 2022? Uh, I'm not really digging your person's energy, Pisces. Bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy, being walled off and defensive about something. Again, this is a card of healing. Walls coming up because someone's been hurt. Mm. This could be, this Queen of Wands could be them having this massive amount of attraction and desire for you still, even though they did something stupid. I think they could be internally conflicted about, well, what is it that I actually want? Do I want my Pisces bag? Do I want to go with where I took this leap of faith? What am I trying to manifest? And because they're manifesting this magician energy from a state of being internally conflicted, they're making all kinds of stuff that they don't want actually show up, which is what leads to the dumb decision that they made leads to the breakup. They do still have feelings for you. Whether or not they communicate that, I don't know. There's too much conflict here. 
there looks like there is the possibility to move past this or the possibility that they're just like, you know what, I'm getting in the chariot and I'm rolling out because I don't want to make this decision. Uh, I don't know. Not 100% sure. I got the Seven of Pentacles right under that Nine of Wands. So while the walls are up, there is this Taurus energy of taking a, a pause to reflect and take stock of this connection between the two of you. Take stock of this whole situation you guys are finding yourself in. And what they're doing is looking at the seven seeds that have been planted between the two of you and the wall that's in the way here. And they're trying to decide, is this ever going to turn into that Ten of Pentacles that I really want, where we combine our lives together into that happy, stable, abundant home life? Or is this never really going to pan out the way that I want it to? And maybe it's time for me to just cut my losses and move on. There's this wall in the way. It would require a tremendous amount of effort and will to get past that, to get this connection back. And eh, I'm just wishy-washy about whether or not I'm ready to commit to that or not. To clarify this Queen of Wands. Mm. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Wow, this is the same dynamic going on here. I had three clarifiers for you, four for your second card. I've got three clarifiers for their first card, four for their second card. The Six of Pentacles is Taurus energy. This is a card of balance. It's about generosity or reciprocity, like you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. This is usually equal give and take. This is usually balancing something back out. But in this case, it feels much more like the merchant giving to two. That is probably why the wall came up here. Why this decision was made, this abrupt decision, this uh, I mean, breakup, calling it dead and over with. It's because we had a third party involved. It's because there was juggling involved. Like I said, there's two queens right below that. I've got a third queen here, all in the same deck. Next, I have the Nine of Swords. This is fear, worry, and anxiety. We've already seen the moon several times, twice here on your person's side already. Fear, worry, and anxiety. Thinking about something over and over again with fear, worry, and anxiety behind their thinking and doing that to the point that it's physically stressful to them. They've got their face buried in their hands here. They don't want to see the situation that's in front of them because it's so bad. This sometimes represents someone who had a secret, was doing some sketchy shit behind your back, juggling more than one person, being a fool, having a third cup of love, and now they're fear, worry, and anxiety about you seeing it. You can't see it yet, but what happens when you do? Because I'm in this Ten of Pentacles already. I'm in this committed connection already. I'm, we've already combined our lives together and are trying to build something great here. Uh, now, this could be them having desire for you, trying to balance it out and being fearful and worried because of the foolish actions that they took and because of the wall that you have up. Hmm. About can we be reunited in this connection or not? This final card is the Eight of Wands, which is Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest energy in the deck. The only energy faster than this is the Chariot that's in the center of the shared energy between the two of you. This is rapid forward movement, rapid forward progress on something, which I don't really feel that because I've seen the Hangman twice already. It's out here in both decks. The other meaning for this can be like being overwhelmed, like a whole lot of energy coming at your person all at one time. It's like too much to process at once, too much to handle at once, too much to deal with, being overwhelmed by it. <sighs> Probably overwhelmed by the stress of all the worrying that they're doing. But the final card that came out for your person's actually too. We got the moon again and the ace of wands. Again, we've already seen this fear, worry, and anxiety. Either about the unknown, fear, worry, and anxiety. In and of itself, this can be a secret being kept. It looks like the secret being kept was this ace of wands, which would represent a passionate new beginning, a new beginning in passion and desire. The the wand represents the male phallus and using it to be intimate so it can represent sexual energy, 
having sex. Ah, could be that your person started something new with someone that they felt some sexual attraction to. Made a foolish decision to bring a third cup in and that's caused all kinds of pain and all kinds of fear, worry, and anxiety because they were in a commitment with you already and now everything has gone to hell in a handbasket. Tell me more about the moon and the ace of wands. Why is that here for Pisces for a man of person of interest? September 2022, please. Wow. Come here. On the bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, Pisces Energy. Again, this is wish fulfillment, but I'm not really feeling that. This is someone acting emotionally single. This is someone being smug and self-centered and what's in it for me, 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 me. Notice how high the table is. It kind of blocks. There could be a whole room full of people here they could be having a good time with. And they've got it all blocked out because they want to just sit here and have it all to myself. Devil right behind that. This is Capricorn Major Arcana card. This is a heavy toxic energy. This is obsession it's addiction it's a feeling of being trapped by something feeling like something's controlling them or something is controlling them Ugh. these are the two people from the lover's card and here they've got chains around their neck chained to the podium the devil's on so sometimes this can represent like a very heavy duty attraction here like a strong sexual attraction that they just couldn't escape from this can represent a sexual addiction or just toxic behavior. Yeah, I think that's part of the secret that was being kept here. I think your person is controlled by their wand more than they're in control of their own emotions and in control of themselves. I've got the moon again right behind that devil card here. Fear, worry, and anxiety. Something hidden in the dark. Some secret. And that secret is what led to this five of pentacles, which is the overall energy of the reading. Taurus energy of abandonment, being cast aside, being left out in the cold. This is a breakup card. A, be a breakup based on some physical opportunity they had present itself to them. I've got the moon and the, and the ace of wands that I'm clarifying. I have another ace here. And the very first clarifier is the ace of cups. Then we have the world. And I don't read reversals anytime. You've probably seen me do it, not even thinking about it. In this reading, cards come out upside down. I just flip them right side up. The only time I don't do that is when I get screamed at and I'm told that one's supposed to be upside down. This one came out in reverse and it told me not to turn it over. So we're taking this one upside down. Weird. This is the last clarifier that comes out for your person. Your last card in your energy is that same six of wands. It just comes out in reverse for them. You recognize something, but they're not recognizing it. Or they don't want it to be recognized, which could be why we're trying to keep it a secret. We're trying to keep this passionate new beginning. The fact that I'm controlled by my wand, we're trying to keep that a secret. Next, we have the Ace of Cups, also part of the secret we're keeping here. A new beginning in love and emotions. A new beginning to some sort of emotional connection here. We've got some Possible feelings being expressed, some flirty behavior being expressed because your person's internally conflicted. They manifested this whole situation. Next, we have the world, which is the final card of the Major Arcana. The very last card of the whole Major Arcana. It represents completions of cycles, like the ending of one cycle the beginning of a new cycle. In terms of zodiac signs, it would represent the four fixed signs. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Wow. To the left of this, I have fear, worry, and anxiety about the ending. Fear, worry, and anxiety about starting a new beginning. To the left of that is the Fool. The very first card of the Major Arcana. The very last card. This would represent a complete full cycle between the two of you. The whole shebang. I'm pretty sure this is over between the two of you. And if not, it probably should be. 
because their final card they have is that six of wands in reverse in the in the upright this is recognition like them recognizing something that allows them to move forward in success and victory but it's in the reverse for them this is not them recognizing something this is them probably being in denial about something here i've got their very first card a person a person's first card is always the most important energy for them for you it's a commitment it's being in a committed relationship and trying to take things to the next level for them it's this victim mentality it's the blame game it's like it's all this stuff external to me that's the problem it's the people and the stuff outside of me that caused all this to get stuck this looks like the kind of person that would do some dumb shit and cheat on you and take risks outside the connection and cause all this problem but somehow manage to flip it all around and make it your fault that they did what they did well if you wouldn't have said this then i wouldn't have done that or if you wouldn't have acted this way then i wouldn't have done it it's all your fault or blame it on the other person that they were with. Well, if she wouldn't have been so damn hot and wouldn't have been coming on to me and didn't want me, then I wouldn't have done it. It's like, this is them not recognizing their fault in it. This is them not coming to any sort of a recognition about their role in creating this or how to get past it and not being able to move forward in success. Now, if you still have questions you want answered about this situation or your relationship, Click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. When you do, you'll be taken to more Pisces love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.